Welcome to JD and the Sump Sea. E here. Um, we're painting this beast. Um, you know, quick highlights. Get a black undercoat with the airbrush. Um, you know, I gotta be honest. I was getting a little bit... Something was missing. I, I don't know. I was hesitating. And, uh, you know, after I got done with this first part here, I kind of took a week off. That was when I did that Vansar paint job. Um, just to swing a break. I didn't exactly know what was missing, but something was definitely missing in this build. Um, you know, I'm painting it up and it, it's going great, but um, I guess I just wanted to let you guys know that even when you're working on builds, you know, this big and massive pieces like this, you know, if it doesn't feel right, you know, stop and, uh, you know, just take a good look at it, take a little break, you know, come back to it. Um, it, it, it was missing stuff. It was missing details. That's basically what it was. So, um, I added this platform back here, start to start. And then on front here, this is kind of a, a, uh, a, oh, for lack of a better term, a staging area for when the boats come up. Um, I had a couple different ideas for this and I went through them. It was a really long video a couple of minutes ago, but I shaved a lot of it off to do with the final product here, which was just basically a lean to concept of in the hive. Um, it's, uh, you know, not a whole lot extra. I had a few drain pipes on the end there. Um, yeah, there's the, there's that part. We primed everything back up painting it um and yeah um you know i'm right in the middle of this paint job so if you add stuff on it's fine you know no big deal just nothing's set in stone you know i i none of these pieces are actually completely done as far as i'm concerned So speaking of detailing, um, yeah, that's what we're working on next. Um, bit of graffiti, bit of poster work. Yeah, I know I added Pac-Man and the ghost on the side, but hey, I'm old. <laughs> I really like that as far as graffiti too. I am still working on it, guys. Um, I, it's been something to try to expand my painting and hobbying skills and trying to expand and you know, do my videoing skills as well. Um, learning a lot all the way around here. Um, I really hope you guys are liking it a lot um, or even a little. Um, we got a lot of subscribers lately, so I'm very happy about that. But uh, back to the paint shop. Um, so yeah, uh, this is contrasts and inks that I'm applying at this point. Um, there's a lot of uh, speculation as to how hard those paints are. Um, when we get up to the next stage here of oil painting, um, I don't really worry about it too much because once the oil washes and oil paints go over it, everything gets very, very hard. Um, if I am a little bit suspect as far as how all this stuff is going to stay, whether it's going to crack off the paint and all that, um, I'll just hit it with varnish later at a later date. Um, so I wanted to set out here um, a little bit. Um, I know it not too many close-ups, so it's kind of a little bit difficult to see what I'm doing here, but um, I decided to do this one uh, with mainly very, very uh, oily, thinned down versions. There's a lot of spirits in this. Um, and as you can see there, I got five uh, colors blue, green, magenta, brown, and black. And um, I'm putting it on lightly and, you know, wiping it off almost immediately with, uh, you know, an old t-shirt. Now I could have used paper towel as well. Um, I actually did that and cut out that footage because it was a mess. Um, if I was doing this paint a little thicker with the oils, um, probably be able to get away with a paper towel, but uh, the t-shirt was the way to go um, simply because of all the spirits that are in, involved in there. Um, yeah, these are a bit thinner. 
Um, the detailing I was doing up top there was some green fungus and things that I was using with a brush. Um, you gotta feel your way, especially with a project like this. Um, if one way's not working, you can do another way of, of doing the oils. Um, that's the best part about the oils, you know. There's even a technique with learning how to dry brush with them. So, you know, I got sponges, um, all, all kinds of stuff just to push the oil paint. Um, I'm self-mixing these colors as they go on. Um, a, this is all naturally supposed to pick out the shadows anyways. Um, so, you know, it, it having a good mix is not a bad idea. Um, like I said, I... I absolutely love oil paints especially for big terrain pieces like this um yeah i made it even a little thinner and then a little thicker and mixed all that up um to get a splash effect yeah i used the t-shirt again um the weathering powders are going to go directly on this um while it's still wet i i haven't got really a pause in between okay yeah here we're doing the detailing with the the lighter green color mossy look and uh yeah i'm just doing it with a sponge and spreading it out um it's very easy very fast um i know this footage is sped up but the truth is maybe this took me an hour from start to finish including the powder work coming up here um not very long at all um and if you make a mess, you just wipe it up and reapply with something else. Um, they will all mix together. Um, okay, so here we go with the uh, weathering powders directly on the wet oil. Um, I have uh, picked up on this the last couple of builds here. Um, scatter scratch as well. You don't need a fixident at this point uh, when you're doing it this way. Um, and let's see here. Yeah, all that's left here is the sump. And yeah, boy, they look really good. Yeah, these are all taken right afterwards. So this this is gonna dry the same color pretty much that it is right now, um, which is really super cool. And yeah, we're gonna use some lime green ink here. Then Basically, after that, I've got a walkthrough with the wall that I hope you enjoy. So uh, we'll see you at the end of that.
Thanks so much for stopping by tonight, you guys. Happy holidays from Jay and I. And as always, please like and subscribe. <laughs>